And up next, Lloyd Kramer with more on The Storyteller. A few weeks ago, you may recall Lloyd Kramer made a discovery. He found the world's greatest storyteller. However, little did he know there was a lot more to that story than met the eye. Dear Mr. Lloyd Kramer, the letter begins. On Friday, August 28th, you broadcast an interview with Nate Tate. Are you tired of uh, hearing the same old stories? In that news report, the information was incorrect. But worse than that, you got the wrong man completely. Before I lend you one thin dime. August 28th. Yeah, I spoke with who I thought was the world's greatest storyteller, Nate Tate. How many stories would you say you have, actually? 20 to 30 stories. Original stories? Uh, these are all original stories. Well, Nate Tate is an imposter and a copycat, according to this letter that I received from a tea berry. So, in the name of truth and fairness, please, he writes, make a public correction, or at least give me equal airtime. Do you know what it means to wear $400 suits and an $80 hat to drive down the streets in a Fleetwood Cadillac? Do you know what it means? What t -Berry does is as much street theater as it is about storytelling. So, Mr. T. Berry, what's the real story? The real story is that my name is T. Berry, and I am the world's greatest storyteller. I am the first, the original, and the best. You know Nate Tate. He used to be my assistant. He got my coffee, passed out my flyers, and carried my bags. How many stories do you have? I know a total of 62 stories, but I only do about 12 on the streets. Stagger Lee had a Coke 45 and a deck of cards. Uh, Stagger Lee? Stagger Lee was a story that was handed down to me. By the way, Nate Tate does uh, Stagger Lee. Well, he got it from me. I showed him how to do it. His woman threw him out in the ice and snow. Some who've been following T. Berry recall seeing him first about a year and a half ago. And uh, there was another fellow that was with him who was kind of watching what was happening, but... Uh, would that, would that fellow be uh, Nate Tate? Yes, Nate Tate. That's him. In fact, in a neighborhood newspaper profile of T. Berry, there's a reference to Nate Tate here at the bottom of the page as T. Berry's manager. My job, says Mr. Tate at the top of the next column, is to protect T and make sure nobody steals the money. The version that I do is, is totally Nate Tate. Well, I spoke to Mr. Tate about all this, and what he said was T. Berry hadn't been telling stories that long. In any way, he added, quote, Calling yourself the world's greatest storyteller is just a marketing device. Kind of like saying you have the world's greatest pizza. End of quote. The fact is that uh, he took my act from A to Z. Do you like stories? Yes, I do. Do you know what it means to give every young hustler a break? Oh, another thing, many of T. Berry's stories can safely be categorized with the letter X. When I was a kid, I always liked the stories on the risque side. A little bit of profanity, a little bit of sex. So Goldilocks and the Three Bears, uh, for example, would not be your cup of tea? No, I never liked the Cinderella, Robin Hood, and uh, to me they were very polyester, very phony. Do you know what it means to have the mob call you king and the cops call you mister? He's had eggs thrown at him. One person even persuaded his German shepherd to chase him. Uh, I think it was because of the story. They didn't like my stories. Uh, and the language I use. So, uh, but it didn't bother me. Sounds like amateur night at the Apollo Theater. Huh? No, this is real life on the streets. And that, as they say, is that story. Do you know what it means for me to stand here and tell you this story and have people say, there goes T. Berry in all his glory. Lloyd Kramer, News for New York. <laughs> Whole so, lot of storytelling going on it there. It sure is. But we're out of story, so we will say thank you for being with us and join us again tomorrow. Good night. This has been Live at Five with Jack Cafferty and Sue Simmons. Live at Five is a presentation of WNBC-TV in New York. I'm Don Pardo.
from WNBC-TV.